it'll be. I think uh, that's gonna be... kind of continue next year too with the TGL and stuff. But before we get into mm-hmm. TGL, there is another match as well before the end of the year, and that's the obviously longer awaited the PGA versus Live. It's Rory and Scotty versus Brooks and Bryson, and that one is going to be phenomenal to watch because yeah there's going to be a lot of chirping brooks and bryson on the same team especially after everything that they went through when they were on the pga like that's fucking yeah but wild. but they're bros now they've been bros since now they i know over there but dude brooks is such his um his sunday conversation with caleb is probably my my favorite it's probably my favorite Oh, I saw the the one that dropped today. Well, it's already it'll be a couple weeks back by the time this airs here. But that it was with that Maddie Matheson from the Bear. I don't know if you watched well, the Bear. It's okay. so good. So, yeah, I, I haven't watched it, but I've heard. I saw a clip of it on TikTok, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta watch this one." Yeah, yeah. So he's he's a funny dude though, because like he does a lot of like YouTube cooking shit on the side of like his comedy yeah. and act and stuff, which is. But yeah. Yeah, so obviously this match starting today, second round tomorrow, and then the the big one with the pros next month. But all of this is kind of leading into the TGL starting in January. The teams are all announced. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's some select Mondays and some are like fall on Tuesdays and stuff. But yeah, I don't know how much details you really saw about like the teams are one thing, but the how they're playing these. So like obviously how they're it's playing in, it is weird because it's a like different like different um, variants of scoring and different team aspects which i think it, it's pretty cool honestly yeah but it's also all simulator and then once you get within like a set yardage then the screen comes up and it's the green is supposed to move and morph into yeah, like different undulations, undulations. And yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool but yeah we'll see we'll see i don't i don't know if it how much it takes off it's just I mean, when does it, I think it starts after like Monday night football is done. Cause obviously they're not trying to compete with stuff like that, but no. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we're going to tune in. We might as well just uh, probably do a recap. I, and... I did hear, I'm not sure if this is all confirmed, but what I did hear when there were more of the planning stages is that it's all supposedly being, you know, shot like late night TV. It's all pre-recorded. Then it's just kind of cutting highlights and, it's like that which is going to be more disappointing because again as as us and a lot of our listeners watch they we consume the youtube golf where it's you see everything you know you mm-hmm. see the full round regard even if it's six holes or if it's 18 holes like right. people have gotten so used to that that i almost think cutting content down i get obviously they're trying to fit it in a two hour you know prime time window but it's well, it'll be interesting to see how see it all play out, especially in the wall of um, basically non golfing weather here. So we'll we'll be itching to watch it. So I'm excited, yeah. especially just the like you said, the chirping of it's going to be so much fun in the match and and for the TGL. So I'm it's, I'm, I'm hyped. Yeah, I mean, it should help. The TGL should help kind of kill that little bit of downtime too, where like the good golf, the first big golf tournament of the year is always like the waste management, which is Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You know, and then there's downtime and then you have the players and then it really ramps up. But everything else in there, you know, once you get past the Super Bowl, like college basketball starts picking up, but it's really not until March. And you've got those few weeks that hopefully they by then they figure out what they got to do with the TGL, work out the kinks and it's, you know, set up to to take off. Right. It's just uh, how, how do you keep these big names in it? Um, cause then it's taking away from, you know, what they're doing with their families, what they're doing to practice for the rounds that are actually paying to win. Yeah. You know, yep. but yeah, it'll be, it'll be, uh, definitely something to keep our eyes on. Uh, and I'm, I'm interested to see how they kind of, uh, combat all those issues that we're talking about. Yeah. Well, uh, so real quick, uh, just another notice. So before, um, before we wrap this up, next week being Thanksgiving, there is no episode. Um, so we're going to have that week off we'll be back again in December. Um, and then we got a couple more episodes here before the, the end of the year. Um, and then we'll be wrapping up season one. Um, it's crazy to think this is uh, episode numbers. This is like 44, 45. It's up there. 
it's a lot. A lot of time has passed since uh, February already when we started it. It's been a wild ride. I mean, we started out as a drunken joke. Um, I remember us sitting, uh, what would we call it? And I was like, what about basic bogeys? And that look, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget it. TJ's just, <laughs> and the next thing I know, there's a logo. We're recording all this stuff. We're just having a blast with it. And almost a thousand followers on Instagram later, a couple of videos, uh, you know, up in the up in the millions. It's it's uh, it's it's been a fun it's been a fun ride. It's cool. I mean, um, dude, my favorite Jameis Winston um, quote that I've ever heard. He just dropped. He goes, "Why would I say the sky's the limit when there's man on the moon?" I didn't see that. <laughs> bars yeah so thank you guys all for your continued support and like you said i mean it's been a wild ride for just under a year we have almost 50 episodes in and excited to see what happens next season and how we uh carry it through the off season too so yeah so we got some exciting uh upcoming episodes just wrapping up the season kind of reflecting back on our uh, favorite favorite guests favorite episodes favorite videos different stuff like that um just kind of tying the bow up here before holly season hits and then we'll uh we'll have a couple weeks off before we are back in 2025 hopefully uh we'll have to uh get ricky back by then we'll have uh him fresh off his scottsdale tournament and uh possibly some other bigger name guests joining us in uh the new year so lots more to come but uh yeah it's another episode in the books Absolutely. Thank you guys so much again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.